We're back now with our Extraordinary Earth series, teaming up with National Geographic to show you incredible places like the massive, stunning Victoria Falls. And now we're going from water to fire to the lava lake at the Messiah Volcano in, I'm gonna go for it, George, Nicaragua. <laughs> yes, one of only eight lakes like this on the entire planet. And Will Reed is there taking us up close and personal. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Amy. Just behind me is a plunge of over 1,000 feet down to the center of this crater, which is itself thousands of feet wide. And what looks like a plume of smoke is actually toxic gas that's rising up from this rare lava lake, one of only eight in the world. At, that, at the bottom of that crater, the lava's boiling at 2,000 degrees, bubbling like the core of the Earth. It's really majestic here at the Messiah Volcano, part of our extraordinary Earth. It's one of the world's most active volcanoes, erupting 13 times in 30 years. At the bottom of this crater is a lava lake. It's one of only eight in the world. This one over 1,000 feet down, known as the Mouth of Hell. This is the Messiah Volcano. We're here with Dr. Jeffrey B. Johnson, a volcanologist and a National Geographic explorer. It's a beautiful spot, but also temperamental. How volatile is the Messiah volcano? You know, Messiah is an open vent volcano, which means it's relatively stable. What it's doing right now, it will continue to do until something substantial changes. But for the time being, we're in a place where the activity today is going to be the activity tomorrow. However, using satellite imaging, a Penn State study revealed a reservoir of magma connected to the crater, but almost two miles away, making it harder to predict an eruption. This particular volcano has a complicated plumbing system, but it belongs to the Messiah complex. Some experts believe the destructive force of an eruption here could reach Managua, putting the more than one million residents of Nicaragua's capital city at risk. There have been two major eruptions in the headlines since December. 16 dead at the White Island volcano in New Zealand. And in the Philippines, the Tal volcano, displacing almost 400,000 residents. So monitoring for early warning signs is a high stakes effort. Johnson has pioneered technology that lets us listen to lava. Volcanoes like to speak in sounds, low frequency sounds that humans can't perceive. We call it infrasound. So we developed the sensors that we can deploy to listen to the volcano talk to us. Using his technology, I helped him set up a mile from the crater. We listened to the infrared sounds of Messiah. So right now we're listening to the volcano we're next to. What you're hearing right now is a sonification of the low frequency sounds that this volcano is producing. And this sound you can interpret to learn more about the volcano. Exactly, and when the tone of the sound changes over time, over the course of months, years perhaps, what we can say is that there is a changing state of activity here. The Masaya volcano emits over 330,000 tons of carbon dioxide annually. In fact, each year, the nearly 1,500 volcanoes around the world put 130 million to 440 million tons of CO2 into our atmosphere. A fact that has fed into a long-running myth that volcanoes like Messiah release more damaging carbon dioxide than humans. But according to the Deep Carbon Observatory program, that is not true. Their recent report found over the past 100 years, human carbon emission has been 40 to 100 times greater than volcanoes. Volcanic emissions are not responsible for global climate change. The volcano background emissions we call steady state. They vary year to year, but over century to century, they have not changed. Surprisingly, in terms of climate impact, volcanic eruptions actually have a temporary cooling effect on the planet by releasing a cloud of ash and dust into the stratosphere that reflects the sun back into space. One of many remarkable qualities of our Earth's fiery mountains. The Messiah Volcano, part of our extraordinary Earth.
The Messiah volcano holds great significance to Nicaraguans. Thousands of years ago, this lava lake was over a mile wide, and their ancestors would throw sacrifices into it. And I'm joined now this morning by Dr. Jeffrey Johnson, the volcano listener, and we're going to get a little bit of a demonstration of his technology you saw put to use. So we are now listening to the volcano. What are we hearing? Well, we're listening to the infrasound that this volcano is producing, and it was recorded more than a mile away. I can't hear anything in this vent right now. That's because the volcano speaks in super low frequencies that humans can't perceive. But this infrasound is a very effective tool for monitoring volcanoes remotely and can be used to detect when a lava lake rises and falls. And when experts like Dr. Johnson can monitor a volcano like Messiah over time, they can forecast any irregularities, anything that might endanger the local population. And of course, staying safe is always the number one priority. Yeah, and Will, speaking of safety, uh, that sounded dangerous. It looks dangerous. I imagine you're taking every precaution. That is exactly right. We are a safe distance away from the edge, and we're really monitoring those winds because not only are they powerful enough to move you, but they also move those toxic gases. And if they do, send them our way. We have masks available that we would put on because you can't really breathe these gases for more than a few seconds. So definitely some, some serious work here at the volcano. And we have so much more coming up, by the way, in our second hour from Nicaragua, including the threats facing sea turtles, climate change, illegal poaching, and also what's in your cup of coffee at home or even in the studio can maybe be affected by that changing climate. That's all coming up, so stick around. All right, stay safe. Stunning images there, and we're excited about all that to come. Will, thank you very much. And we can't wait to see, by the way, when Nick Walenda walks across that very <laughs> volcano on a tightrope, live Wednesday night, right here on ABC at 8, 7 Central. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.